We're going to try to follow up what was a pretty incredible day yesterday, Bill, to be honest with you. I mean, we've seen some wild times here in Washington during the Trump administration. Yesterday certainly stood out. It began with the president informing the Speaker of the House that, yes, in fact, he would be delivering that State of the Union address as planned next week. Now, that was a move that invited a response from the Speaker herself, telling the president, no, no, you're not going to do that, at least not until the government is reopened. And then late last night, in fact, I was up watching Twitter, and we saw this tweet come across, uh, the president declaring that he would, in fact, wait to deliver his State of the Union until a later date. He said this, as the shutdown was going on, Nancy Pelosi asked me to give the State of the Union address. I agreed. She then changed her mind because of the shutdown, suggesting a later date. This is her prerogative, and I will do the address when the shutdown is over. I am not, repeat, am not looking for an alternative venue for the State of the Union address because there is no venue that can compete with the history, tradition, and importance of the House chamber. I look forward to giving a great State of the Union address in the near future, about which the Speaker herself wrote, Mr. President, I hope by saying near future, you mean you will support the House pass package to end the shutdown that the Senate will vote on tomorrow. That, of course, would be today. Please accept this proposal so we can reopen government, repay our federal workers, and then negotiate our differences. For his part, the President has made it clear who he believes well, frankly, it's breaking tradition. The super-left Democrats, the radical Democrats, what's going on in that party is shocking. I know many people that were Democrats and they're switching over right now, and they're switching over quickly. So I hope they know what they're doing for their party. So far, they haven't. All as we look now at day 34 with no end in sight, at least not yet, but a very important day on Capitol Hill. Bill, of course, we'll have all the details from here as we hear from the president. But Indeed for now, we shall. Buckle up, right? It's only 9 o'clock, yes, Kevin. <laughs> Thank you, sir. <laughs>